Hey, how's it going? And today I just wanted to do an update to a tutorial I did a while back on the difference between a building prop and a building static mesh. And where you'll see this is when you custom make a prop inside of Verse. Right now I'm just on the Creative Devices folder right here. And if I right click and go to Blueprint Class, you'll see I have a choice between a building static mesh and a building prop. It says a building prop piece that is interactive and standalone, building actor that has replicated static mesh component. Well, what does this mean on a practical level? As far as I can tell, the primary differences and one major similarity between them. A building prop can be damaged and destroyed, and it can be replicated in creative. A building static mesh cannot be damaged and destroyed, and it cannot be replicated in creative. And this is where I think there's some confusion between these two outside of these differences is both can be seen as creative props in verse code. So I'm going to show you that a building prop can be damaged and destroyed and that it can be replicated and that you can't do that to a building static mesh. I'm going to show it to you. And then I'll show you that they both can be seen as creative props, which is very interesting because that means anything that's a building static mesh, basically you can manipulate as if it were a creative prop. I used to think that you had to have this in order to manipulate it creatively, but, but you don't. You can manipulate a building static mesh the same as you can manipulate a creative prop, which is really interesting. So let's take a look at this and see what's going on. I want to start from scratch so you can see exactly what I'm doing. All I have is an island spawner and I have some verse code in here already. I can show that to you real fast. Here we're just getting the class or creating an instance of the creative prop class and it's at editable. So this in a way acts as a filter for us so that we can see what the code sees as a creative prop or not. So let's go in real fast and just create a couple of basic props. The first thing is what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click and go to blueprint class and we're gonna create a building prop. And I'm just gonna call this building, building prop. So there's no confusion on what it is. And then it's a blueprint class and we're gonna click into it. I'll just dock it up here. We'll go here where it's a static mesh component and we'll just grab anything here. We'll just make it a cone, okay? Now while we're on here, while we're on this blueprint class, we can go ahead and set what's called the death effects. When it's killed, it makes a noise, and we could just give it some random effect, like campfire smoke. I'll go ahead and drag it into the scene, right here. So remember, this is our building prop. Here we want to make sure that it can be damaged. And if I right click on it, notice this, you'll see we have the option to again set it can be damaged. And we can also set the resource type too. Set resource to just say, let's make it stone. And I can go close that. Then there's just one setting here I want to check in my island settings here under axe. So if I go to island setting and I search for axe, I can start with the pickaxe. And pickaxe destruction, I'm going to set it to default. So now this should be fully destructible. So now what we can do is we're going to right click, go to Blueprint Class, and we're going to do a Building Static Mesh this time. We'll double click into it. Well here for it, we'll just make it, let's say we'll just make it a cube. Now this is where it gets confusing because we can here set death effects on it too, right? If I come up to the Blueprint here, and I can give it a death effect, like a sound, and just some random effect, grenade explosion or something like that. So I can set that the same as I set it on the prop. Let me go ahead and call this building static mesh. And then I'm gonna go ahead and drag this into the scene as well. So now that's my building static mesh. Now, if I clear out my search bar and I look for can be damaged, you see it can be damaged. So I have the can be damaged on it and I have death effects on it. I have my pickaxe set for destruction. But notice when I right click on it here, you'll see I don't have the option that I had over here. You see that? I don't have this option to set the resources to here. So you can see the difference right there. So what'll happen is it'll look like I'm inflicting damage on this, but I won't, I won't destroy it. But this, I will inflict damage on it and destroy it. So that's why I say the one difference between them again is that the building prop can be damaged and destroyed and the static mesh cannot. And you'll see that when we go to play in the game. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and launch this. So we're in the game now, it just loaded back up. 
And let's go over here. So this is my building prop here. See how I can destroy it? But look, if I come over to the building static mesh, nothing. It's essentially indestructible. So that's one of the differences, the key differences between them. Now I want to show you another key difference. Now if I escape out of the game, it's kind of cool how that's on fire. If I'm in, in creative mode with my phone, you notice how when I select this object, I can't duplicate it. But if I select the prop here, look, I can copy and paste it as much as I want. So that's another key difference between the prop and the static mesh. And then the last thing I want to show you, and this is the most interesting thing of all, if we come into this, look at this creative device now, and I come over here to look for my prop, see how it shows everything that's available? Even though this is a static mesh, it shows as available as a creative prop, which means that if I select the static mesh as my creative prop, and I come into the code here, and let's say on begin play, I can go my prop dot hide. It should hide that static mesh, even though it's a static mesh that can't be damaged or destroyed. And even though I can't replicate it, I can hide it the same as a creative prop, which is really interesting. So let's go ahead and build that verse code. Let me push those changes. And so when I go into the game, what should happen as soon as the game starts, the cube should disappear. So let's see if that's what happens. Where's the square right there? Yep, do you see? It's gone. <laughs> so very interesting, right? So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.